What's up guys, welcome, my name is Macau and today we have another video, sorry this one is a little bit late but uh, I was struggling a little bit to get a, you know, a decent topic for a commentary, uh, I didn't just want to put, you know, just, just me rambling on I guess, uh, about nothing and uh, you know today I thought it would be a nice uh, video idea or a nice commentary topic for me to just uh, talk about a lot of what ifs, you know. And uh, you guys will understand maybe along the line, maybe I, I didn't explain myself correctly, you know how it is, that language barrier. But uh, let, let's just move on uh, right away and I think you guys will understand. It's just stuff in my opinion that in the gaming world would be uh, very very cool to happen, you know, but they never will I guess. So the first what if is uh, imagine, okay, what if Halo, when it was, you know, Halo 3, when it was really really big and all that. Imagine if Halo 3 was for both the Xbox and for the PS3. Would Call of Duty would be as big as it is right now? I'm, going, I'm not gonna lie, probably not, because I think that Halo still has the possibility to be the number one FPS. I'm a big fan of it, I feel like as a spectator the game it's so much more enjoyable to watch. Uh, and you know not to talk about that there's actual there's an actual skill gap in that game so if you are actually better than the other guy you will win most of the time when in Call of Duty there the skill gap is a lot shorter so even though you might be better than the other guy you will not always win at least as many times as you would do on Halo and the next what if I think this one is a pretty obvious that everyone has what if Vondi and patch the snipers on Black Ops 2. I think he would be the king. I think there's a slight chance that that actually might happen, you know? I think if he just gets flooded, you know, just by everything, saying that he should unpatch, you know, maybe he will. I don't know, maybe he, maybe he won't, even though if he gets, you know, a lot of feedback of people just saying him to unpatch it, maybe he won't. I don't know what you know his opinion stand on that uh, that precise topic, but uh, I think it would be pretty fun, and I can definitely uh, tell you that most of the YouTube community would just most of the YouTube community Jesus I can't talk today uh, most of the YouTube community would just freak out. It would just freak out. It would just be a lot of videos say that Bondi you know the hero and all that. Uh, I think it would be pretty fun to see. You know, the overall YouTube reaction to that, I think that would be uh, pretty, pretty amazing. And the next what if, it's gonna be Call of Duty related as well. What if Call of Duty made one decent game? I think that would be pretty amazing. Call of Duty, it's like the only big game that comes out with a new game every year. So if you don't know, you know, what I, what I actually mean by this, let me give you, you know, a rundown a little bit. Uh, without counting with Halo, that is actually, you know, out of the MLG circuit. Uh, the other two games, I guess, that are really, really big. Uh, you know, you have League of Legends, which is the same game for the past four or five years. We have Counter-Strike, which has three games in the span of, what, ten plus years? Or maybe just ten years. Uh, another very, very, very big game, it's World of Warcraft. It has nine on ten years as well. And it's just the same game. You know, they... They have like expansion packs or whatever you want to call it, but it's the same game. While on Call of Duty, for some weird reason, we need a new game every year. In my opinion, it's it just doesn't make any sense, you know. They just, why don't they just make one decent game and just keep adding stuff to it, you know. Keep adding guns to it, keep adding maps to it, keep it fresh, new game modes and all that. But every single thing under the same game... So, you know, because buying a game every year, you know, and then it sucks, like Call of Duty Ghosts, to be honest with you, was pretty disappointing, and in my opinion, I honestly feel like I wasted my money on that particular game. And, uh, you know, if it would be just, for example, an expansion pack that sucked, that would be less of a problem, in my opinion, when, you know, in this year, I feel like, it's a little bit of a very, very slow year for Call of Duty. I don't think 
things have the uh, I don't think th things will explode as much as they would if for example Black Ops 2 came out with like 16 new maps and you know two to five guns new guns in each class you know five new submachine guns five new assault rifles and all that stuff so yeah that's the video for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed just a little bit ranting on on some crazy ideas i guess my name is macau and i'll see you guys on the next video